Hey guys, I'm sorry about the noise here, but I wanted to make a quick video about how important it is to protect your time. Time is the most precious asset that we have. And unfortunately, sometimes in real estate and any professional, any kind of profession, there's gonna be clients that just waste your time. They're gonna be very indecisive. And here are some tips that I use time to kind of like filter out the tire kickers and people are just wasting your time. So number one, if they don't have a pre-approval or if they don't want to take, they want to get go look at houses first, that's kind of the first signal that they're not going to be very serious and it's kind of like a red flag. Not all the time, but about 60 to 7% of the time, that's a red flag if they don't have a pre-approval or don't want to get pre-approved. Number two, if they're just very indecisive, uh, the first thing you want to do to avoid indecisiveness is sit them down, really listen to them and ask questions and sit and define their needs versus wants. And what I mean by defining the needs, what are the minimum requirements that this home has, such as minimum square footage, maximum square footage, the year build, the lot size, where is it, is it a zone to any special schools? Uh, does it need to be one story, two story? Do we need to have a, a carpet, wood, a tile mix, wood floors, uh, counters, what kind of counters they want? Get a real definition of what they're looking for. And they will appreciate that you even ask these questions because you're trying to get in sync with their needs. You know, you're trying to see exactly, try to get a good feel for what we're looking for. That's what I love to do. It's not going to take that much time. It'll probably take you about, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes. Get that needs down. And then you want to go ahead and get the wants. This is not necessarily a deal breaker. So, like, if they want a pool or if they want an exterior, brick exterior, they know that nice, uh, that old-fashioned type of brick. Or maybe they want rod iron. French uh, iron fencing, or they want a, a fountain in the front. Who knows? These are wants. They're not necessarily deal breakers. So that you can kind of stay organized. Another thing that I like you to do is I want you to get a folder, and you're going to have just a little punch-in folder. You can put the two holes, put the folder, uh, put your the homes that you're going to look at with the client, and then so they have their folder, and you have your folder. Inside that folder, you're going to have a list of homes that you're going to be looking at that day. You're going to have a map. You're going to have a, a real quick CMA, not nothing fancy, just like the statistics that show bedroom, bathroom, square footage, home, you know, the basic stuff, the year bill, etc., the list price, price per square foot. This will keeps the or keeps you number one looking very professional because you're coming with your guns blaring like wow this guy a lot of realtors don't do this so i want you to start doing this so uh secondly since they have that folder every time they look at a property write some little notes down like oh what do you score you know make it fun um what do you score this property out of one to ten oh well, let's do a seven and so you can write it for them or they, they can write it be fun with it. What do you like about this home? Or what don't you like about this home? Do you like this just cross this home out? Oh, bam. So at the end of the week or whenever you stop looking at homes and you've gone through the list, you can narrow that list down. This is what helps you. This makes you look like a professional, a guide through this journey of looking for them the most precious asset. I mean, this their real estate. It's a big purchase. So you're going to keep them organized. So you're like, okay, this house is crap. And the, when you start looking at 10, 20, 30 houses, uh, man, they're gonna get really confused. So they're gonna, oh, that's right, that house, because you're gonna have your notes down there. And like, you know what, I did, you scored this one a nine, this one an eight, and it's, why don't we eliminate all these fives? We got these eight, nine, and 10, let's, now we have three or four, we, we narrowed it down. Let's go look at these again, and then you can kind of rescore and go from there. So those are my tips for the day. I hope you like it. If you do, think about uh, joining my uh, my class where I train and mentor agents every single day. And subscribe. Make sure to subscribe because I'm giving you guys new stuff that I'm learning every single day and that I've learned over the last 15-year career as a real estate broker. Well, that's my tip for the day, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It lets me know that I'm doing my job and giving valuable information, not just like spamming people. I want to be giving value to you so that every time you come across an email, you're like, oh, wow, let's see what Alan has to say about HP agents. Hopefully you, you, you leave this email, you leave this video uh, better than you came with. It's a little piece of knowledge uh, that you, you know you learn that you can take on to the you know, workforce. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.